my name is Amar Kapadia. I'm co-founder and CEO at Arna Networks. We create open source software for orchestration, lifecycle management, and closed loop automation of 5G networks and edge computing applications. Private 5G networks, like public 5G networks, are completely software driven. But there are five key differences between private 5G networks and public networks from a management point of view. First, private 5G networks need to be extremely simple to operate. Unlike telcos, enterprises are not in the business of running networks. So the management has to be extremely simple. In fact, you could argue zero touch. So if we start using terms like release 16 versus release 15, standalone versus non-standalone, enterprises are going to get lost. Second, private 5G networks need tremendous flexibility. Within the same organization, you may have one location that's standalone non-public network or SNPN. And in another location, you may have PNI NPN or public network integrated non-public network. You may need vendor choice. One network may be optimized for bandwidth, another for latency, and you might want to use different 5G core or maybe different RAN providers. You may want flexibility in reference architectures. In a bandwidth optimized implementation, you might centralize a lot of the functions. In a latency uh, sensitive environment, you might push a lot of the functions towards the edge. You may need flexibility in terms of the frequency band, millimeter wave versus sub six. So all in all, the orchestration for private 5G networks needs tremendous flexibility. Third, private 5G networks have to deal with the presence of edge computing applications. Private 5G makes no sense unless you have edge computing applications. So from a management or an orchestration point of view, you have to manage your network and your edge computing applications. Next, you have to deal with the scale of a private network. Unlike public networks, you're not going to have millions of subscribers, but you are going to have scale challenges of different types. You may have tens, if not hundreds of thousands of edge sites. You may have hundreds of edge computing applications, which when combined with network slicing could explode to thousands. You may have to cater to hundreds of thousands or millions of IoT devices, and therefore, the orchestration needs to deal with a variety of these scale challenges. Last but not least, a private 5G environment is extremely dynamic. You may be upgrading from release 15 to release 16. Your network functions may be updating every three months. You might have reconfiguration, slicing, termination, migration, replication. These five reasons make the management of private 5G networks quite sophisticated. And by management, we mean initial orchestration and day zero configuration, ongoing lifecycle management, day one, day two configuration, and finally, automated service assurance through real-time policy-driven closed loop automation. At the same time, the orchestration solution has to be extremely easy to use because we are in an enterprise environment. For this reason, a lot of the traditional telco MANO management and orchestration solutions are unlikely to work in private 5G networks. And I would look for a new wave of simple to use, uh, lightweight private 5G orchestration solutions.